In this tutorial, we're going to talk about the previous video I did recently about the 8K hyperlapse, um, which I explained that it's possible to do a 4K hyperlapse out of uh, with this draw by using the raw image files from the 1080p hyperlapse mode. So let's do it. So here we are now in the DJI Fly app. I'm going to show you the settings you need to set before you do the hyperlapse in order to get the raw files um, for editing, for later editing in 4K. So we push the blue button, fly. Now we are in the camera view. Um, and then you have to set... Uh, we are already here in hyperlapse mode. You have all the options here, video, photo, and here's hyperlapse selected. And then you can choose all the kinds of uh, waypoint or anything like that. That doesn't matter right now. So when we are in the hyperlapse mode, we have to push the three dots on the upper right section of the screen. Here we are at the settings security, uh, etc. And we need to go to the camera settings. So now you see you have three options. Um, photo type, it's off, JPEG or RAW. So you have to select the RAW option so that it saves the RAW files when shooting the hyperlapse. Down here you see that it's set to 1080p. If you set it on 8K, in 8K you don't have the option anymore to, sh to choose the RAW files. So that's a big difference from 8K to 1080p. So now we are set, we have the RAW file selected. We go back and now we can start. If you set the hyperlapse mode you, you like, you just press the red button to start and doing the hyperlapse. So when it's finished, you get a folder in your SD card where all the photos, the raw image files are stored next to the original compiled hyperlapse video from the drone. Okay guys, so now we are here on the computer. We opened the folder of the SD card and we see that the drone has already created two folders. One folder where the uh, original video files, the hyperlapses created by the drone itself are stored. I, do, I did two hyperlapse videos and you see the numbers that are displayed here are the same as the numbers in the other folder. That means in, here, in this folder, in the hyperlapse folder, are stored all the raw files we set before to be stored separately. So these are the raw files of the hyperlapse number 0158, which is the night one, the dark sunset. So now we are here in the folder with the raw files. We press Ctrl A to select all and we drag them into Photoshop in order to create our video file. So we just drag them inside. Remember not to drag them in the window in the space below, just drag them on the top of the Photoshop window. Because if you drag them in, be be in between somewhere then it's gonna open each file separately. That's not what we want. So we drag them into the top bar. Now it needs some time to load them up because there are many photos. Okay, so here is now the dialog box where we can edit all the raw files. So we're going to choose one in the middle which has the average uh, lighting conditions. And now we can set the exposure higher and tweak a little bit with the shadows. Oh, the shadows are already up. The highlights down, etc. You see how I think that was the original file, somehow like this. And now we can bring up the shadows and have all the details we want. So now we are set. I think that looks good enough. Like this. 
You can also play with, around with other settings here. Noise reduction is very important. If you zoom in, you can see that there's a lot of noise. So we can use the noise reduction tool to make it a little bit smoother. Like this, for example. And now we are done. You can go back again, full size view. So now we right click on this picture, select all, and we right click again on the same picture and set sync settings. So now all the settings are applied to all the pictures. Make sure that all these are checked. Click OK. And all the raw files have the same picture settings. So now we applied all the settings to all the pictures. We can select them all again and click save images. Make sure you have selected all because sometimes you forget this and you only have one selected and then it saves only one picture but we want them all to be saved at the same time in one place so yeah select them all save images make a new folder I just did this before in the same folder where the DNG files were the raw files it's easier to find it so we have this folder JPEG files document name you don't have to set anything because the files are already numbered from 1 to uh, etc by the drone itself so that's a very good thing JPEG format, um, quality maximum, color space as RGB, and that's it. So we click save. And now you see down here 336 remaining. It needs some time to save all the JPEGs. I'm going to just make it faster so we don't have to wait. So now it's finished and you can go back to the folder and you see now we have here our previously created folder, JPEG files and all our files are here now. So we're gonna open them in Photoshop now. We just need to go to File and Photoshop. I'm using Photoshop CS6, the 2018 version. Um, yeah, and we open a new file Let's go to our folder. Hyperlapse JPEG files. Here you just need to click the first one and then check the box here image sequence. Open. Here you can set the frame rate. That's a benefit you have when you use the raw files you can choose any frame rate you want um, if you take the file from the drone itself it's always 25 frames per second so I'm gonna check uh, this 23 frames per second box and here we are uh, now you don't see that it's a video file you have to change <coughs> the view the window, uh, the workspace in motion. So now you have here the video file, which you can click play and it plays slowly uh, the hyperlapse. So that's it by now. The only thing you need to do now is to fit it into the 4K frame size. These images are 12 megapixel images, 3000 by 4000 pixels, and we need to set this into a 4K size, which is 3840 by 2160. 
So I'm going to go to image, canvas size, and set it here, 3840, 2060. Proceed. And this is the 4K size we want. Now we can adjust the position of the um, frame you want it, if you want it a little bit lower. I think that's a good proportions. So now you are set. We don't need the audio. We can switch it off here. And we go here to render the video. The next dialog box opens for the render options. You can set a name, for example, uh, Hyperlapse 4K. Um, the folder doesn't matter really. I'm going to put it on the same folder, the same folder we had before. Hyperlapse, that's okay. Format is okay, high quality. There are also other presets here, but I leave it on high quality. That's the most sure thing. Document size, here you see the 4K resolution or frame rate, everything correct. And now we hit render. I'm gonna fast forward it now because it takes a while. So here we are now, it's finished and just need to go one folder up one more there it is the mp4 file hyperlapse 4k we just created let's check it out that looks great the only thing that's left to do now is to import it in premiere pro in order to make some uh, stabilization because it's a little bit shaky and that's a final step we need to do now so now we're going to open a new project here in premiere pro name it um, hyperlapse tutorial click ok and here we are so we need to put the new file we created before, the mp4, which is here, the Hyperlapse 4K. We just drag it in, in our media browser, browser or project folder. And then we can drag it in the timeline. So here it is. It. and it works it's a little bit shaky so I'm gonna apply the effect warp stabilizer I'm gonna just drag it on the video file it says I need some uh, analyzing in the background you can see here in the effect controls under uh, warp stabilizer you see here it's working frame by frame it needs about six minutes I'm gonna leave it uh, I'm gonna fast forward it for you and then we continue uh, when it's finished so now it's finished and we can check the final result that looks much more smoother Yeah. That's a very smooth result. And now after you finish editing your video, maybe you want to add some more shots of the drone or some other video files and edit them, edit them um, as usual in Premiere Pro. 
you just finish it by exporting and in this dialog box you need to check everything you need if you have audio you check in the audio and video and most important you see the resolution is 4k and yeah I usually choose CBR 50 to have a high bitrate for YouTube because YouTube degrades the quality when it's uh, compressed after uploading so you need a high bitrate to keep the quality and yeah when it's finished you just oh, Maybe I forgot here something render maximum depth. It's also checked. And now you use maximum render quality and export. So now it's finished. Just need to open the folder again. So here is the output file. And it's finished, stabilized. So this is how you get perfectly edited Hyperlapse in 4K out of the Mavic Air 2 with the help of the RAW files by using the 1080p mode. That was it, I hope you liked it. If you have any questions about it, write in the comments below. And for further videos and more tutorials about the drone and any other kinds of tutorials, just subscribe and hit the bell button to get notified. So that's it for now and see you in the next video.